It has struggled to re-enter the game since the slow times of May 2022 and the announcement that it's organizer in cost, but what is Lunk we should check into it and see what we can find out as well as look at some of the Lunk cost forecasts that were made beginning around 28 Watt 2022. In late May 2022, Lunks voted for Pioneer Duchuan's plan to create a new blockchain commonly known as Lunk 2.0. The old blockchain was renamed Lunk Exemplary and its token was renamed Luna Exemplary. The new Lunk 2.0 local symbolic Luna or Luna 2 was airdropped to holders of old loan tokens in the days that followed the Lung 2.0 chain decided to leave its leader Duchuan Blanc was founded in 2018. By Daniel Shin and Duchuan with the Terraform Lab CEO is one of them. According to his LinkedIn page, Lunk is the president and founder of a decentralized distant lattice organizing fire-up service. From 2010 to 2015, Quan worked on software engineering at Stanford College in California, where he also worked as a computer programmer for Apple and Microsoft. Tuan is the core of Lunk, he is known for being frank, and he has utilized Twitter on several times to convey his gloomy views about the Lung setting. After Lunk fell apart, Many financial backers filed claims against Quan and other Lunk members for misleading them on June 12. Quan rejected claims that he allegedly changed out $2.7 billion in the months before Lunk fell apart in September. South Korean specialists asked that he be given a red notification by Interpol in October. Quan was apprehended in Montenegro and is still being jailed at the time of writing. Luna value history let's look at what the new type of Luna has done since it came out remember that what happened in the past shouldn't be taken as a sign of what will happen in the future all things considered knowing what Luna has done since it was relaunched can give us the information we need to either figure out what the current Lunk value expectation is or make one of our own new Luna tokens or Luna 2 tokens were airdropped. To qualified users on May 28, 2022, on May 28, the price of the New Lunacoin was 18.98 but by the end of the day it had dropped to 4.94 on May 30th the price went back up to 11.997 but on June 8th it fell to 1.96 which was an intraday low things got worse after withdrawals were stopped on the Celsius crypto loaning platform which confirmed the bear market and Luna fell to 1.66 on June 18th there has been some recovery. Since then there was then some recuperation and on the 10th of September it arrived at a high of $7.06 prior to dropping. Down by the 5th of November it was valued at $2.70 which was as a matter of fact up from a low of 2.26 it arrived at only 3 days earlier however following that everything went awry the breakdown of the FTX trade caused one more accident and Luna tumbled to a low of 1.44 cents on the 22nd of November 222 at the point when Quan blamed FTX organizer. Sam Bankman seared for being unquestionably somewhat liable for the defeat of us, the business sectors were not excessively dazzled and on the 16th of December Luna tumbled to 1.17 making him extremely humble recuperation to close the year at about 1.26 things seemed to get better in 2023 when a bull run in late January saw it arrive at a high of 2.52 cents on the 21st of January before a sluggish downfall exacerbated by the breakdown of the Silvergate Bank and Quinn's capture. Saw it exchange at around 1.25 cents on 28 Watt 2023 around then there were 242,035794 Luna available for use out of a complete stock. Of 1,004,262701 this gave it a market cap of around 305M making it the 111th biggest crypto by that measurement cost projections for Luna with that out of the way. Let's take a look at a small portion of the lung cost predictions that were made around 28 Watt 2023. It's important to remember that price predictions, especially for something as volatile as digital currency, are frequently incorrect. At first, the site made a current Lund price prediction for 2023 that said the coin could drop to a little under 1.15 by April 2nd before dropping to 1.00. As of price drops, Bitcoin has stabilized. The largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization was recently trading at around $27,165, up 1.1% in the last 24 hours and somewhat higher than where it was when the weekend began. BTC is down more than 10% since May 5, when it began its most recent plummet, owing to profit-taking and a lack of liquidity against a backdrop of industry-focused and macroeconomic uncertainty. Financial markets in general are driven by risk, by liquidity, and so, not surprising right now, 
when people are fearing risk assets as a whole, we're seeing large swaths of selling, Ryan Rasmussen, an analyst for crypto fund manager Bitwise, said on Coindesk TV's first mover program on Friday. When there is less liquidity, you will see larger price swings whenever an asset is sold. He did, however, add, there will be more liquidity come into crypto. Ether, the second most valuable cryptocurrency by market capitalization, was trading about $1,800, down a few fractions of a percentage point and roughly at the same level as early Saturday. Other big cryptocurrencies entered the green as the Asia trading week began, with Litecoin recently rising more than 5.7%. The Coindesk Market Index, which measures the performance of the cryptocurrency market, was up 0.8%. The Nikkei was up around 0.5%, while the Hang Seng was down 0.2%. Rasmussen pointed out the decreasing correlation between crypto and traditional asset markets, which were uneven last week, with the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite up marginally over the last five days, but the s and Amp wink with tongue sticking out 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJIA, dropping 0.2% and 1.1%, respectively. Any kind of mistrust in traditional financial systems plays into the hands of crypto, Rasmussen explained, adding, I'm happy to see the correlation fall between traditional risk assets, traditional equities, and crypto. Joe Di Pasquale, CEO of crypto fund manager Bitbull Capital, told Coindesk in an email that the current macroeconomic situation around the world is creating a conducive environment for crypto assets to thrive. This week, Di Pasquale expects Bitcoin's price to remain stable between $25,000 and $27,000 before bouncing toward $30,000 again. We don't believe the market requires a catalyst in the near term, he added. It is only a matter of time before we see another major rally. What does Bitcoin's recent stablecoin supply ratio mean? The stablecoin supply ratio, SSR, has dropped by almost 11% in the last 11 days, signaling a possible increase in buying demand for Bitcoin. The metric, which compares the market capitalization of Bitcoin to the market capitalization of stablecoins, provides insight into the supply and demand dynamics between stablecoins, used as a vehicle to purchase cryptocurrencies, and BTC itself. A larger SSR suggests that purchasing power is dwindling, whilst a lower value indicates that purchasing power is expanding. The recent dip in SSR comes after a 52% surge between March and May 5. The pivot suggests that more cash or liquid reserves have entered the market, which may result in higher BTC prices, Bitcoin, BTC, lost ground in the aftermath of Coindesk's Bitcoin trend indicator, surrendering its optimistic bias for the first time in three weeks. Ryan Rasmussen, a Bitwise crypto analyst, offered his market analysis. Separately, Terraform Labs founder Duquan